the Universal Wrestling Federation. I'm Jim Ross. Thanks very much for being with us, everybody. We've got a great program here for you. And obviously, I'm here alone. Michael Hayes has asked me to meet him in the ring after our opening segment. And we're going to find out just exactly what the Freebird surprise is. That coming up in just a few moments. Also, just saw the opening footage. A totally disgusting situation involving Missy Hyatt and Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Yellow paint. How humiliating and how terrible a thing to happen to anybody, especially Dark Journey. She, she, she didn't deserve that, and we'll be talking about that appalling situation throughout the hour. Also, on this program today, two championship matches, the television title and the UWF Tag Team Championship, the Fantastics, We'll put the belt on the line against Hollywood John Tatum and Jack Victory. We'll also see the debut of the newcomer, the Angel of Death, a new computerized top ten. We'll also see Savannah Jack take on Nature Boy Buddy Landell. It's going to be a great hour. I personally can't wait to find out what the surprise is. He wants me to come to the ring. If I'm gullible enough. I'll be going to the ring after this matchup. But right now, let's go to ring announcer Mike Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, at 250 pounds, Rick Steiner. Introducing from Every Man's Nightmare, at 255 pounds, Sting. Rick Steiner and Sting will be going against the Iceman, King Parsons, and my good friend Chavo Guerrero here on our opening encounter. Universal Wrestling. Don't forget, big national taping right back here in Tulsa tomorrow night at 7.30. And whatever you do, plan on attending the wrestling event of the year in the Superdome. Where else? On Thanksgiving night in New Orleans, the Popeyes Thanksgiving Superdome Wrestling Extravaganza. We'll have some toll-free numbers for you as the hour progresses as we await the arrival of Chavo Guerrero and Iceman King Parsons. Remember, in the hour, the Freebird Surprise. We'll also see the Angel of Death, as I mentioned, the TV title, Savannah Jack and Nature Boy, Buddy Landell, the tag titles. This is a phenomenal hour, and we're so happy that you're with us. Chavo Guerrero and the Iceman, King Parsons, in tag team. Their opponents now entering the ring at 230 pounds from Los Angeles, California, Chavo Guerrero. Also at 230 pounds from St. Louis, Missouri, the Iceman. Chavo Guerrero now living in Fountain Valley, California. Special hello and thanks for all the mail from the folks that watch KCOP, the great television station there in Los Angeles. Hope you're having a great Saturday morning in the beautiful city of sunshine. Also the Iceman, his fans watching us this Saturday morning on KDNL in St. Louis. Thank you for all your mail. Certainly appreciate it from those two great wrestling cities. Chavo Guerrero. A graduate of the University of Texas at El Paso, former high school wrestling coach. And he may be giving Sting a lesson or two. Sting, though, he beat the teacher to the punch, and Sting with a devastating clothesline. Chavo graduated from UTEP. They won the national championship back in the early 60s in basketball, Coach Don Haskins, and another clothesline. Boy, that one was even more devastating than the first one. And I've always been the first man to say Chavo Guerrero, pound for pound, may be the toughest man in wrestling. But he's going to have to really reach down this early, early on in this contest. Going for another clothesline is Sting. And Chavo with his version of a kick, a super kick, and a spotlight blow to the ribs of Rick Steiner. And Sting learning from his teacher, Eddie Gilbert, and evacuating the premises. Steiner with a very colorful set of tights. First time we've seen any of those. I guess Missy probably bought him those. She probably liked the way he looked in the stripes. Who knows? I have a, don't have a very high regard for her or Eddie Gilbert at this point in time. Tag was made. There comes Iceman King Parsons looking in tremendous condition here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. I think the move to the UWF has rejuvenated the career of the Iceman. He wants to go back to St. Louis, and he wants to set it on fire. And I think, and Rick Steiner from Detroit. Hello this Sunday afternoon at the great ABC station, WXYZ in Detroit. Thank you for your mail. Oh, 
my goodness, Steiner, the All-American from Michigan. He wore the blue and gold on the wrestling tights. He was an All-American, and that was a tremendous clothesline. Boy, he's a, he, both these guys, Steiner and Sting both, I don't think you're going to see any two younger, finer physical specimens in wrestling, and the Iceman is fighting back. He's a southpaw, but Sting keeps on the offensive, and there's the tag. Gilbert's young duo. They are teaming up extremely well in this encounter. Power slam by Steiner. A complete 360, but he did not grapevine the leg. The Iceman now may think he's back in St. Louis. There's a tag. Good move. That shows the experience of the Iceman. And Chavo Guerrero with a drop kick and a second one on Sting. Chavo Guerrero, the victim of the clotheslines earlier. And now the Fountain Valley natives really racking him. Right hand by Chavo, the Iceman back in there. Chavo elevated but landed on his feet. Double clothesline on Steiner. What an athlete, Guerrero. Iceman King Parsons now taking over on Sting. The rubber stumper, down goes Sting. And all the way outside. Reversal by Chavo. Chavo's got Steiner left up. He's got him down for the three count. But Sting off the top rope. And the clothesline to the back of the head. That's an automatic disqualification off that top rope. The winners, the Iceman, King Parsons. It's a disqualification victory. The Iceman fighting two men. Now Chavo's back to his feet. The Iceman and Chavo Guerrero cleaning house. And they've got a disqualification victory on the UWF. It's going to be a great hour. And we'll find out the free bird surprise right after this timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, here on the program last week, the conspicuous absence of Michael P.S. Hayes was very evident. And I must say that I enjoyed last week's program probably more than I've enjoyed being able to do the commentary in a long time. But Michael did make an interview that you saw, and he said he had a big surprise for us. So in this segment, he's asked me to be here in the ring, waiting on him. So we're gonna be seeing in just a few moments Michael Hayes, big surprise. And I'm sure it's gonna be quite something. You hear the music in the background as our television audience awaits the arrival of the limousine coming in at the back of the Tulsa Convention Center. Michael Hayes, big surprise, forthcoming. I apologize for the delay. We've got a tremendous program. But there's P.S. or B.S., whatever you want to call him. But in any event, Michael Hayes is on his way to the ring. And hopefully we're going to get this situation tended to as quickly as possible and on with the tremendous program that we have. Well, here you are. All right, it's surprise time, right? That's right, baby. When P.S. and the champion promise you a surprise, we just like the mailman, we do deliver. Well, I'll tell you, Michael, I don't know if you folks here will agree with me, but one thing's for sure, Michael has proven he knows how to use the yellow praises and rent a limo, wouldn't you say? Is this a surprise? You know, we got a great show. You've got work to do on the podium. This is a great hour. Two championship matches coming up. Hey, uh, Spanky. Listen, when I say that the champion went out because he was tired of how they tried to rip him off of his Universal Heavyweight Championship, and man, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is going to blow your mind, this surprise, baby. This is going to blow your mind. I could talk about it all night, but I promise you this. This surprise will turn you on. Buddy Jack, my main man, come on out. Feast your eyes, the television champion, and bring out the surprise, baby. Number one lady in professional wrestling. 
associated with the number one team. And let me tell you, she is all mine and all his. And I'm talking about the lovely sunshine. Hey, I can do this interview. I don't need your face around, all right? I brought our church guy with us. Hey, hey, she's looking lovely. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, now, you're going to understand that nobody messes with the Freebirds. Baby, tell them like it is. Number one, you've never seen me with a loser, have you? <laughs> I'm not going to disappoint you now because I am with the winners, not only the world universal champion, Terry Gordy, but the number one contender, holder of the TV title, as he holds it now before you, Buddy Jack Roberts. And need I say any more, if that isn't enough, I'm closer to P.S. I don't think any more needs to be said. Let's take a break and let's go to the podium, baby. Here you go, Spanky. I you know, everybody says that John Tatum and Jack Victor are all washed up. They say we're through because we no longer have our bread and butter. We no longer have Airhead Missy High and Mr. Know-It-All, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. So without them, what we've done is we've signed our own selves a title match. And just to show you people and you fantastics just how washed up they are right here in this hour, we'll become the new Universal Champions. You know, a good friend of mine, Jimmy Hines, told me one thing. He said, later on in the program, brother, you're going to be wrestling against John Tatum and Jack Victory for the UWF titles. And Jimmy also said, whatever you do, don't walk out of that ring without the belts. I just hope you stay tuned and watch because, brother, we're going to give it our all. That's right, because, you know, we got the taste of the gold. We know what it feels like to have those belts around our waist, brother. And believe you me, all them people out there supporting us, we'd just like to thank each and every one of them. And when we walk in out of that ring, just hopefully we can come out with that gold around our waist. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Universal Wrestling Federation. I'm rejoined by Michael P.S. Hayes and, of course, Sunshine here with us. I must say... The lovely Sunshine. The surprise was there. <laughs> you know when the champion, when he says he's going to do something, he's always done it. The Freebirds always back up what they say, baby. Always. And we're going to back it up everywhere we go. I'm really looking forward to the big event on Thanksgiving, Popeye's Superdome Spectacular. It's going to be a great one. Tickets on sale now. Ticketmaster Outlets. The debut of the Angel of Death in this segment, plus the updated... I've heard a lot about this guy. He's a... Well, you see him, ladies and gentlemen. Plus the new UWF computerized top ten. And we'll also have, of course, Michael's commentary throughout the balance. <laughs> well, now we can have a show. You know, you didn't have us here last week live. Now you've got us, plus you've got the lovely sunshine. I mean, what more could you want out of the UWF? <laughs> hey, I'm one lucky guy, folks. Ain't now, you? Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Houston, Texas, at 245 pounds, Gary Young. Gary Young with an impressive victory last week. I'm sure everybody knows the guy keeps battling, he keeps trying, and what a victory he did have over a dangerous Art Cruz, who is dangerous at that. Right now on the way to the ring, the man that everybody's been talking a lot about is he's a mysterious man known as the Angel of Death. That's a real pleasant name to have, you know. Not the kind of guy you'd want coming over asking your daughter for a date. Who am I taking out tonight? Oh, the Angel the of ring. Death. His I don't think I'd go from for it. Hearts Unknown at 285 pounds. Wait a minute, you jerk. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm six foot seven and a half inches, and I weigh 322 pounds. Don't ever forget it. You got it? Well, I guess he made a statement clear there. Ladies and gentlemen, the angel of death. This match, one fall or 10 minute time limit. Well, I bet he won't be doing no Nexus commercials. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, he's a. He's a full-grown lad, I'll say. He's I'll tell you what, I don't, think he, I don't think he got short-cheated short on any dinners. Not when he was growing up. Well, he's a big man. Gary he sure Young is. We'll have his work cut out for him, no doubt about it. Good knee. Massive arms on the guy. Look at that. Whoa, big roundhouse left. He's a southpaw, quite obviously there. 
I tell you what, Michael, this, he is a big man. He I mean, sure is, a, Jim. 322, I think he said. And I will believe him. I'm not going to dispute his word. He's got Young down. Whoa, that has to be a size 13 across the chest. Gary Young trying to fight back. Shoots him in. Good elbow. Good elbow. Boy, this guy, you know, he might possibly, I mean, not we we're looking, taking applications, but right now he looks possible freebird material. Well, he certainly has the qualifications. He is a, he looks to be very sadistic. Drop what kick. a drop kick! He's 322 now. Think about that. Six, seven and a half. That's Three. agility. That was impressive. But Gary Young, he never quits fighting. That's why he's here week after week. He might not win every time, but he's got the guts. And that's what it takes to be a pro wrestler. He's got him moving. And he took a drop kick, took the big man off his feet. But you he, see that press off, Jim? He, I sure did. Uh -oh. Young went for a flying body press. The angel of death caught him, slammed him. Uh oh, this could be, I've heard it's called the death wish. This could be it. Where's he at? Whoa! Good night, Irene. That is devastating. 322 pounds, six, seven and a half. And don't forget, he's from Los Angeles, Michael. I'm not gonna forget that. Well, I got friends in Los Angeles. I told you that before, Tommy Nast. But he, none of my friends in LA look like that. I'll tell you that much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Universal Wrestling Federation Television Championship will be on the line when my we brother. come back. <laughs> Buddy Jack Roberts defends the title against Jump and Joe Savoli. We'll have it right after this brief timeout. This week's Universal Wrestling Federation computerized top tens sees the missing link at number 10. Gentleman Chris Adams, number nine. Chavo Guerrero, Fountain Valley, California, number eight. Terry Taylor, the former television champion, holds number seven. Michael P.S. Hayes from Bad Street, USA, number six. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Glens Falls, New York, number five. Ted DiBiase from Omaha, Nebraska, number four. Steve, Dr. Death Williams, Norman, Oklahoma, number three. The giant one-man gang, 488 pounds from Halstead Street, Chicago, number two. The number one contender for the UWF Heavyweight Championship is Buddy Jack Roberts, the television champion. Champion and the UWF heavyweight champion, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from New Jersey at 231 pounds, Jumpin' Joe Savaldi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Jim Ross and Michael P.S. Hayes and Sunshine here in the Tulsa Convention Center as Jumpin' Joe Savaldi will challenge Buddy Jack Roberts. Boy, UWF TV time. Has Buddy got a heart or what? Man, does he defend against the top contenders or the top contenders? Yeah, I remember distinctly him defending last against Ken Massey. Yep, see? That was a real top flight challenge. That's for right. Him. He yeah. gives everybody an opportunity. You bet. I'm surprised he even signed a contract to wrestle Jeff and Joseph Bowley because he is a very accomplished young athlete. He sure is, and that's why Buddy signed. He feels everybody needs a chance. Why don't he sign with Terry Tunnel then, Michael? He doesn't deserve a chance. Oh, you can't be you're, you're serious. I'm serious? dead serious. Yeah. Buddy beat him. Goodbye. That's it. And you know, another rumor is going around. Now entering the ring from Bad Street, USA at 240 pounds. The current UWF television champion. This match for the television title, yeah. one fall or television time remaining. He's a banker's champion, brother, because he banks that money off that belt. And as I started to say, as far as rumors go, I want to see Dr. Death come back. They said he'd come back one time, he came back, and we sent him right back out. He's back next week, my He's friend. He's back next week, yeah. I we'll wish, see, we'll I, see. I wish you would have been in the office when I talked to him on the phone just a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, I, I wish I'd have been there too. Your, your name was brought up in the conversation many times, <laughs> quite prominently. Yeah, my name was brought up around his neck and around his arm. Good shoulder tackle by the television champion. Savoli, good leapfrog by Savoli. Reverse monkey flip. I'll give it to him, good move. Watch out, buddy. Small cradle. That inside drop cradle, another one. Another one. Savoli going for the pin. Can't get it on the champion. There you go, buddy. Take a timeout. Slow down that pace. There are no timeouts. There are no timeouts, Michael. You know that. But Buddy's taking one, taking the liberties with the count there. That's right. You think he's underestimating Jumpin' Joe a little bit? Uh, I don't think he underestimates anybody. He's a polished champion. Well, let's don't get too carried away about the polish. 
<laughs> you, see hey. the, you see the boots he had on and that tux? Hey, brother, yeah. the only thing that looked better than Buddy in that tux and me was sunshine. <laughs> Whoop! Went for the punch. Good quick bill by Savoli. Sunset flip. Come on, buddy. Kick out. Boy, Come on. Savoli's going for the pin. He's not there wasting any time. Now, that shows a veteran. He sees Savoli is really up for the match, which he should be. This could catapult him right into the number one position for the Universal Heavyweight title, and he's given it all his, all his guns. It's automatic if he beats him. That's, that's what's on the line for Jumpin' Joe from Parsippany, New Jersey. He will be the number one contender if he wins this match. Well, he's obviously realized that and been studying some films on Buddy. But the veteran he is, you've seen, he went out and stopped the pace, slowed it down. Now collar and elbow into the corner. Be taking notes, Sunshine. Wait a minute, there's Savoli. Now he's using a closed fist. Four lefts. Come on, Gilbert. Went to shoot him in, but he reversed it. Drop kick. Come on, bud. Another good drop kick. Come on, buddy. He's got the leg hook. Kick it. Well, I'll tell you, Jumping Joe looks, I've never seen him look better than Buddy. Whoa! There's that veteran experience. <laughs> Didn't that look good, baby? Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, Michael's talking to Sunshine. He's they know to I'm me. talking to Sunshine. Well, somebody may have just tuned in. Who knows? Well, if they just tuned in, they've missed it, baby. If you don't catch the UWF from the beginning, you are missing it. Good legal back palm forehand there. Oh, back palm forehand. Yeah, right. back palm forehand. Hey! Terry Taylor won. Hey, 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 what's he doing out here? He's going to... He hey, that it. little pretty boy. What's he doing, Sunshine? Terry, he ain't got no right out there. He's not there to wrestle, that's for sure. Look, he's decked out in the finest. Terry hey, Taylor. he ain't got no manager's license. How do you know? I mean, how do I know? I'm aware of the stuff like this. I keep up on it. Sunshine, does he have a manager's license? No. No, see, she keeps up on stuff. That's why the champ got her. Buddy now, Roberts. this is not fair. So you didn't think it was fair when Tatum and them distracted Gilbert, but now you think it's okay for Taylor to come out and distract my brother. You think Buddy can be distracted? You know, you're getting real, real sarcastic. Terry Taylor right there. Well, you know, you got to fight fire with fire sometimes. And Jumper There's Joe is the right, the left hand. Closed hand, Donna. Buddy, buddy missed a punch. Buddy's in trouble. Turn stopper. Chop, come on, buddy. There's a cover, come on, buddy. Boy, there you go. Yeah, rake the eyes. Robert's there you go. Give it to him, buddy. That's right, bulldog him, baby, into next year. Goodbye. That's buddy, what he gets for messing with the champ. And buddy has been bothered by Terry Taylor's presence. Yeah, he's, not anymore. He's fought off a tremendous challenge by Jumpin' Joe, and he, he threw some, that was intentional. He threw him right on the top rope, that was intentional. Now he wants Terry no, Taylor. No, 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 buddy, don't call him in. No, buddy. Well, he's not gonna have to ask him twice, because Taylor has been dying no, to get his buddy. hands on Buddy Roberts. Don't do it, buddy, no! No! No, buddy! Taylor looks like he just He ain't got a right in here. Taylor and Roberts! Come on, this is, this should not be happening! Let's, somebody stop this! Taylor ain't got no right in there! Harry Taylor is ready for Buddy Roberts! And look at those right hands! Terry Taylor's got this crowd frenzied in Tulsa! He ain't got no right out there! Whoa! Right. Look at Taylor's counting him out. I can't believe this. Taylor, that's not him. legal. If we did that, you'd find us, you should spend us, you'd try to throw us out of here. He's counting him out twice. He does. What humiliation. I can't believe this. Where's Kid Mantel? Look at Buddy Jack is out. Two, three counts. Sure, he jumped, the, he jumped it from behind. Terry Taylor has made an elastic impression on Buddy Jack Roberts. Michael Hayes is off the headset. He's furious and will be right back with more UWF action after this timeout. Don't go away. Let's hear this from the UWF. Everyone all over the universe got to see Hot Step and I paint dirt journey last week. I mean, was that great? I mean, I've done it all. I've got it all. I mean, not like I did before, but at least I got my man from the West Coast. Woo! I got my man from Detroit.
Petra, and most of all, I've got hot stuff, which he has proved now that he really is from every girl's dream, because I know he's from my dream. <laughs> That's right. All the critics, all the experts all over wrestling said it couldn't be done. Hot stuff was counted out a long time ago when Cowboy Bill Watts came out of retirement and tried to kick me out of the UWF. But what's happened? All of a sudden, things are a little bit better. Look at these two guys standing behind me. Look at these two individuals, the two best young stars in wrestling day, and guess who's behind them? None other than Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert, and with me behind them, boys, Man. you're going to be better than Chicago Man. Bears, the Denver Broncos, or anybody in NFL history. You're going to be better than any tag team in wrestling history, and Missy, me and you together, I know that I've just started winning some great matches. Welcome back, everybody, and we had some excitement, and I thought some excitement in the during the commercial break. Buddy Roberts, rip off! He is completely lost rip his off. mind. He, you couldn't control him. So, who, who can control somebody when you rip them off, man? Sick of it. They try to do it at uh, Bam Bam. Now you're trying to do it at Buddy. It's not gonna work. But Buddy invited Taylor in the ring. How can you say it was ripped? Taylor off? had no business being there. How many right. times I gotta tell you? Well, we we recorded, ladies and gentlemen, what happened in the commercial break. We're gonna see Savannah Jack and Nature Boy Buddy Landell one on one. But first, we want to show you what happened during the commercial break. by General Scandor Akbar and Company from Hollywood, California at 240 pounds, Nature Boy Buddy Landell. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Savannah Jack needs to kind of reevaluate this situation, but ladies and gentlemen, before we talk about that, the match that Buddy wanted is going to happen in the hour if we have time. If we have time, I, I don't agree with it, Buddy. I can't control him. If it, he's going to do what he wants to do now, Savannah Jack is coming down the aisle. If he's smart, it's dummy. Look at him now. There's four big guys up there, and he's going to walk down by himself and take them on. He can't be that stupid. Well, he probably can. But... Look at Landale. Savannah Jack's got to be very, very careful here in this situation because I don't think he wants anybody from devastation. But... Well, he turned on them. Oh. He turned on them, so what he gets, he deserves. Not that I like devastation. Yeah, I heard what they said to you on the way by here. One man gang. I see. He, I knew he. I knew he wasn't that dumb. He's leaving. Hey, I give the guy credit. He now, that's smart. He's probably going to go back and get somebody to come out and you know, a, little, a little bit of help. <laughs> Who's going to help him? He's a man without a country. Who's going to help him? Nobody likes him. I don't like him. I don't think anybody else likes him. Well, there's there's some guys in the UWF that'll stand up for some causes. Now, I don't like believe this. He's coming back again by himself. You're a fool. Your mama raised a fool. Look at this. He's got a lot of guts and a lot of heart. Guts? That's stupidity. I don't think he's naive enough to get in the ring with all those guys. If he, I mean, I just don't. If he was smart, he'd go ahead and leave while he's still got his face in one position and, in one place. And forfeit. You think he should forfeit? Well, what would you do? I, oh, I guess, I guess, I guess, look, he can't get no help anyway. Ain't nobody coming. I told you that. Well, I, yeah, well, let's just wait a second. Wait a minute. Some heavy duty help. What's Duggan? Duggan, Chris Adams, Chavo Guerrero, and brother, it is going to break down in Tulsa. It is. It is breaking down in T Town. And look at Akbar running. He knows he better. Savannah Jack is cleaning Buddy Roberts' clock. I'm sorry, Buddy Landell. He couldn't do it to Buddy Roberts. Look at him pounding away. Boy, it's like a mini battle royal. Friend or 
two. There were some guys that were going to stand up to devastation, and there they are. He does have a friend, Michael. Well, I don't care. Let's just get out of it, man. I'm still upset about this TV title thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Universal Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship is next. Don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Hollywood, California, at 240 pounds, Hollywood John Tatum. Also from Hollywood, at 265 pounds, Jack Victory. This match for the Universal Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship, the Fantastics will be defending against Tatum and Victory. Don't forget the Popeyes Thanksgiving Superdome Extravaganza. Tickets on sale now at all Ticketmaster outlets. Call 1-800-535-5151 if you live out of the state of Louisiana. In Louisiana, 1-800-228-3944 for ticket information. The next television taping right here in Tulsa is tomorrow night at 7.30 in the convention center. Well, I, sure, I think this could be a long match here. We might not be able to see the TV title match. Well, it'll probably be a long match. If we have time, we're going to see Buddy, Jack Roberts, and Terry Taylor for the television title, time permitting in this hour. You know something? I don't know as far as Hollywood John Tatum and Jack Victory's careers are going. He lost his woman. And a couple weeks ago, Eddie Gilbert cost them to lose their chance then at the tag team titles. Last week, Jack Victory gets beat by Terry Taylor. I tell you what, this is probably the bottom of the barrel for him. It's do or die. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The Fantastics, as of late, have looked just tremendous. Their tag work, their acceleration, they are at the top of their game. That still means something in 1986. I agree with you there, Jim Ross. They are definitely fantastic. They just wish they were fabulous. <laughs> Bobby Bolton and Tommy Rogers always take time to visit with the fans. Now, next week... They're probably asking for money or something. A very interesting match has been signed for next week, Michael. A coward's match. Well, I'll tell you what. We got it. We got our girl now, the lady of wrestling. But what they did to Dark Journey. And now, the current UWF Tag Team Champions from the City of Angels at the combined weight of 420 pounds, the Fantastics. This match, one fall or television time remaining. Tearing up her roses was one thing. Then when she came out there to jump on Missy, I'm sure it wasn't to help John Tatum. And then they got a hold of her. And John Tatum left her in the lurch. Did you notice that? I noticed. That was real, very gallant of him. Eddie Gilbert hit, Missy hit, uh, you know, with a purse. And then Eddie hit her with the purse. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, well. And then this one's broken loose. Well, I tell you, the, the intensity level here in Tulsa tonight is phenomenal. And I, this match is for the gold. I've said before, you cannot let the Fantastics start off that fast pace. It's like you said, they're like the fast-breaking Boston Celtics or the L.A. Lakers. Look at victory out on the floor. This is no way to start a title match, gentlemen. Take it from one that knows. Good high backdrop. Look at the teamwork. They've been on a roll since they took the titles back, Jim Ross. They certainly have. This looks like this match could go a while. Tatum, partial boot, caught Bobby Fulton in the gut. You hope it goes a while. So Fulton smart enough to tag out. That's why they're the champions. And now Tatum backs out. Yep. Sure looks like this match can go a while. It takes a three count, and as explosive as the Fantastics are, this one could be over in an eyelash. Well, any match for that matter could be, but it looks like they're slowing down the pace. Same thing, they probably noticed it by watching the monitor when they watched the TV champion Buddy Roberts when Savoldi thought he had him going. I was gonna say, next week's Cowards match, the Missing Link versus Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. We'll tell you about those stipulations next week. Also, the Universal title will be on the line next week, and the Doctor will be back next week. It's house call time, Michael. Yeah, house call. Well, I got a house he can come visit. And if he wants to call, he can call Collect. I'll give him my phone number. Tell him, don't be so foolish like last time. Don't bother coming back. What a high back drop and good tag. Man, he was in a never time zone on that one. Full the drop kick. That was great. They're tags. That is the whole reason they call it tag team wrestling. Keep a fresh man in. Look at victory. Well, I tell you what, he's got to pay his dues to the, to the concrete workers union. He better hurry up and get back in that ring before a 10 count. What did Tatum just do? 
Well, I was telling him to get back in the ring, I would hope. See that? Oh, he almost okay. lost the count. Victory has been punished in and out of the ring. He sure has. You just can't be a physical brute specimen to make it in oh. wrestling. Whoa, what a drop kick. Oh, that was a dynamite drop kick. You've got to be able to think wrong corner. Look at that. That's illegal now. Now, if Tatum and Victory did that, everybody would be mad. But the Fantastics do it. It's all right. Boy, that was a tough hip lock. Sure was. Right Close hand. fist. Smart move. Victory getting out of there and Tatum pausing. That's a good move, too, actually. Yes, it is. Long Tatum down. pausing. I don't think he wants uh, Tommy Rogers' help getting in the ring. Hollywood, but he's... Whoa! Now, ah, that is uncalled for. You've seen that, Jim Ross. I've seen it. And the millions of people that watch Universal Wrestling Mike. every week seen that. Look at that. I, and nothing done. I think, Michael, though, it's kind of like you said a lot of times. I, I think it was an accident. I really don't think it you know, might not have happened. I think you were an accident waiting to happen. No, I think it might have been an accident. Tatum suffering, obviously. I don't think any more needs to be said. Now, reverse chin lock by the Fantastics. That was a real fantastic move. Very Good move here, good amateur move. Got the leg scissored and got the other arm grapevine. Very uncharacteristic of the Fantastics. Nice move by Tatum. Looks like he's got the tights there. Can't quite tell. Hey, I see Tommy Rogers with his hair, his hand in Tatum's hair. Tatum's that. reversing it. Got a good amateur move there. Amateur, amateur what? Not well, amateur. See, he's, he's hooking the legs. See, that's good a, move. That's a good move. Good move. You're right. That is a good move. Both gentlemen tied up. Almost made the tag there. Look out, almost had it. Whoa, that was close. There's a tag. Sure is. People, amateur wrestling is great. Professional wrestling's better, but if you want to get your kids in shape, get them in amateur wrestling. And see, he was tied up in that hold. They made the tag. Uh-oh. Now, that was dumb. They had Rogers going. The now, that was a stupid move, and he threw him into his own corner. Victory said tag him, and then he did, and now Victory tags out. And Hollywood, I don't think Hollywood's quite right yet. He's recovered. Fulton is cooking. Shoots him off, drops down. Victory went for a trip, but he missed it. Tatum drop kicks him out. Tatum didn't miss it. Oh, oh man, all the way out from the second rope all the way to the steel railing. And they're going to throw him right back in very quickly. They're going to try to capitalize on this. Tatum setting for a suplex, yes. This could be it. Could have new champions. One, two, no. Not enough. The championship means so much to the Fantastics. They represent the people of the UWF. That's the people of the universe, baby. Bladen Chokehold. Sure is. Bladen Chokehold taking that wind out of him after dropping his, his throat across that steel railing. There's a tremendous amount of money on the line. The most coveted tag team titles in wrestling hanging the balance here on the UWF. Victory and Tatum smell victory. And the thing that Michael Hayes pointed out, that Tatum and Victory just might not get many more chances. No, I, I think this would be it for them. They better take this opportunity and make the best of it. And they better capitalize on it and be going for pinfalls. Good knee left. And Tatum. Boy, he planted it on Hollywood, John. He sure John. did, right under the chin, man. Tatum could feel that one down to his shoe. Both men are down. The count is up to four. That knee lip loosened his socks. You can bet on it. Tatum fighting to get back to the corner. Crawling the ropes. There's a tag. What a clothesline, Tommy Rogers. What he don't have in size, he makes up in guts. There it is, that powerful drop kick of his. One of the most dynamic drop kicks in wrestling. Rogers now opening up on Jack Victory. And Fulton has Tatum going. And Rogers, Rogers is on the concrete. There's action all over the convention center. In and out of the ring here for the title. Victory pulled him, double elbows. Dropping them double elbows. Count, you've got to, they've got to, the referee Ronnie West is getting in a very tough position here. I see, they're both shooting him in. Go for a close on, he ducked it. Boom, now Tatum. Tommy Rogers, a beautiful body press. Tatum. He got the elbow right in the back of the head. What's, the referee's down one, two, three. New champions. We got, we, we got, got brand new champions. We got new tag team champions. I can't believe it, they pulled it out. What an upset. Tatum and victory, I don't think Tatum even knows they've won. This just shocked the wrestling world. Tatum and victory, the blondes from Hollywood have won the UWF tag team titles. I don't believe it. Hollywood, John Tatum and Jack Victory. This crowd is hushed. They, they did it with
without Missy. They did it without anybody. They did it on their own. Tatum and Victory, the new tag team champions. And we've got time. The television title will be oh, on the line. We got time. We've got time, and oh. we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, now in the ring from Bad Street, USA, at 240 pounds, the current UWF television champion, Freebird Buddy Jack Roberts. Terry Taylor and Buddy Jack Roberts. Mike Wilson didn't get the opportunity to make the introduction, but this match is for the television Everybody, championship. Terry Taylor. Yeah, see, Taylor tried to jump up from behind like he did earlier in the show, and it just ain't working, is it? There you go, slam him in again. Man, when you make Buddy that irate, you just don't want to mess with him. He hasn't got where he's been as long as he's been there by being a nobody. He's a free bird and he's the TV champ. Good, well-placed legal boot. Now, Taylor, now where's your coat and tie, cutie boy? Taylor reverses Buddy Roberts, and Buddy's head is slammed into the top turnbuckle. Remember, the TV title's on the line. Hey, he's using the hair. Buddy Roberts with the new addition to the Freebird Sunshine at ringside. Come on, bud. Whoa, what a boot. Now, you have to remember, Buddy's already wrestled once. What a courageous athlete to go in there and put the belt up on the line, already wrestling and already put it up. Taylor with a suplex. Come on, bud, kick out. He ain't got the leg hook. Use your legs. Good, good. See, Taylor's dumb. Is he going for a powder, buddy? Come on! What a matchup! And it's for the title here on the UWF! The crowd is ready! Hey! He just threw Buddy over the top! He, he just threw him over the top! I think the interpretation here that Taylor just ducked. He did! He threw him over the top! Just going by the match! What? Wait a minute. What if she took out of her purse? I I don't know, she's just cheering him on. No, what's that's out of what, his hand? That's what the champ bought her for. That's DiBiase's glove, Michael. Inspiration. She had in her purse. Good grief. Backwards suplex. Come on, bud. Taylor doesn't know he's got the... Dig Taylor's from down under. Right ahead. Dig from down under, buddy. Come on. Don't quit. He's got that glove. Look at it. Oh. He... What a right hand. Buddy Roberts just nailed with that right hand, but he's not pinning him, and Taylor is just motionless. Ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of time. We're gonna see how rub his face, buddy. Rub his face. There you go, teach him a lesson. Rub his face. Rub oh, it raw. No. Rub it raw. Ladies and gentlemen, we're rub out of time. Raw. We've got to get out of this thing. We'll be back with UWF.